And I'd like now to hear a few of these so I get an idea of what we're going to be working on this evening. So, what, uh, what is this other person doing that uh, you don't like? What are... This person is being defensive. Acts like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Acts like a wolf in sheep's clothing. In sheep's clothing. <laughs> I'd like to meet that person. Sounds interesting. Okay, who else? Pardon? They suffer you? No, they fuss over you. They pay too much attention. They smother you. Oh, they smother. They smother you. They smother you. Ignore. Okay, thank you. Uh, I got an idea of the kind of things you're dealing with. Now, I'd also like to bring to your attention that of the four answers I've gotten so far, they didn't answer my question. And I was predicting that because I asked that question around the world, and it's a rare person who answers the question I, I ask. Because, you see, to answer that question requires what Jadu Krishnamurti, the Indian philosopher, says is the highest form of human intelligence is, according to Krishnamurti, the ability to observe without evaluating. See, I was asking you to observe. I said, what does this person do? And I got back four diagnoses. You see? Being defensive. That doesn't tell me what the person does. That tells me that you have giraffe, uh, excuse me, what I call jackaliers. You're judging how the person responds in a way that implies wrongness, because in the culture I grew up in, being defensive, you shouldn't be. So there's a criticism built in there. I didn't ask for your evaluation. I asked for what does the person do? Acts like a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's what I call po poetic jackal. <laughs> That's judging people, but in a very poetic way, you see. And smothers you. Well, uh, that's a diagnosis, unless the person actually puts a pillow over your mouth and keeps you from uh, being able to breathe. Uh, but, but even that, I would say, is more accurate just to say, they put a pillow over my mouth so I couldn't breathe, but I don't think you were using it in that sense. So this, again, would be a jackal judgment, because to my ear, all of those three things imply wrongness, criticism. That there's something wrong with the person for doing that. You shouldn't be defensive. Act like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Smother you. And then the next one ignores you, ignores me. Ignores is a diagnosis. See? So let's work tonight on, uh, let's get started on learning how to make a difference between these two things. Uh, yes. Sure, please, I'd like to hear it. Oh, thanks. Uh, oh, thank you. Uh, Cyril, my 80-year-old allotment next-door man, burns plastic on his allotment about once a month. And when I asked him if he could do this later, or um, I said the other day, could you not do it at all? He goes, tough. Well, I'll have my friends here evaluate that. They're going to help me a lot tonight in <laughs> evaluating, because if what people say is nonviolent communication, a language of the heart, the giraffe dances. It really likes it. And if there's any bit of criticism, diagnosis, blame in that, the jackal will howl. Well, the giraffe liked it. It didn't hear any criticism. He just said what the person does. That answered my question. I wanted you to have your question answered. Pardon? I wanted you to have your question answered. Yeah. 
Now, that doesn't mean you don't evaluate it. You probably have some uh, evaluation of that behavior. Because I'm not suggesting that nonviolent communication requires us to be nice people and we don't have any evaluation. Not at all. I'm just saying, let's not mix the two. Keep it separate. That same friend that wrote that song, she wrote a song for kids to help them get this clear about not confusing observation and evaluation. And so she's got a line in one of the songs. Uh, how does it go? When you call me selfish, don't expect to get what you want from me. You see? And her line goes like this. When you say that I am selfish, I feel hard as any shellfish. I can almost guarantee you won't get a thing from me. So that stimulated me to write a similar song for adults to help them get clear the difference between observation and evaluation and to keep them separate. If you want to make the judgment, fine, but don't mix the two. So my line in it goes, uh, tell me that you're feeling hurt when I say no to your advances, but calling me a frigid man won't increase your future chances. So this is a, a part of nonviolent communication, to observe without evaluating. But that doesn't mean we don't evaluate. It means don't mix up the two. Don't mix up observation and evaluate. Any questions about that before we move on? Y'all got that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not clear. The example I've got was about someone who complains and criticizes. Ow! Ow! Oh my God! Wow, those were two diagnoses that could kill almost any jackal. Complains. Why do you say that that's a, um, an eva a, a evaluation? Both. I heard two of there, any one of which is enough to kill a horse. So say them again uh, so we can all learn from this. Okay, so someone, they don't have that much understanding of the situation. Oh, they don't have understanding. They, that may be an accurate diagnosis, but it's a diagnosis. It doesn't tell me what they do or don't do that bothers you. That tells me your diagnosis of them for doing it. So you're saying it's too general, what I'm saying. It's not the generality. It's not, it's not an observation. It doesn't tell me the answer to the question of what does the person do. It mixes two things together. What they do with your diagnosis of them for doing it. We got to watch out for that kind of thinking. It's at the heart of racism. It's at the heart of sexism. All of the basic prejudices that scare us off. Research shows that people who think in those ways can't separate these two things. They turn their diagnosis into a fact. They don't say when these people behave this way, I judge them as this. They say these people are dangerous. You see, we've got to really keep these two things separate. Observation, evaluation. So let's try again. Let's, what does this person do that's leading you to call them all those names? I'm trying to think of a particular example, okay. Yeah, we'll need a specific example, you see. So, um, it, so she's complaining about the way... No, no, complains. See, after tonight, you will never hear another complaint. After tonight, you will never hear a criticism. After tonight, you will not hear any blame. Because I'm going to teach you how to wear these ears. And when you have these ears on, you can't hear criticism, blame, complaining. It's only when you have these ears on that you hear criticism. But after tonight, you won't hear it. Although I sometimes do overestimate my teaching ability. <laughs> uh, it may take a little longer than tonight. 
Pardon? It's also a question of my learning ability. Oh, well, thank you for sharing in the responsibility. <laughs> well, let's work on it. What does this person do? Just give me concrete examples of what does this person do that leads you to come to those conclusions. Um, okay, so she is writing to her MP about the way that he isn't um, supporting her point of view ah. about um, the um, bond, the assisted suicide um, situation. Yeah. So you, she showed you some things she wrote to this person, and and then um, she is very dissatisfied with the responses that she's getting from she, him. She wrote that, that she was very dissatisfied. Well, no, she, when she's then commenting on it. Well, you heard it is very, you know, that she was very dissatisfied. So yeah. I mean, we need direct quotes, you know, to really make it an observation. She wrote dot, 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 dot. Well, it's, I'm thinking about her telling me. Oh, telling you. About this situation. So she told you that she, what she wrote. So as long as those are direct quotes from her, then it answered my question of what she does. And then I but the, take... But the, th the thing, the issue for me, though, is that it's my reaction to her. Um, and again, I'm going to use, I don't know a better word to use at the moment, but the complaining about the, the way this person is responding. Yeah. So, uh, putting it more in nonviolent communication language, this might sound like this. Uh, my recollection is that in the, more than half the time when I'm with this person, she tells me things that she doesn't like about what other people are doing, especially me. There's that too, yeah. Yeah, there's that too, yeah. So that would be an observation, you see. And she was telling more than half the time that I'm with her, she's telling me things that other people are doing that she doesn't like. And uh, I would say there maybe once out of five times that we're together do I ever hear her celebrating anything, ever hear her telling me what she likes. So that would have been an answer to the question I asked tonight. What does this person do? Anybody got some other they want to check out to see whether it's a clear observation? Yes, sir. What about a person who used to kill people for a long time, giving orders to his soldiers to kill people? Okay, now did you observe them kill the people? Sorry? Did you observe them kill the people? Of course. So? then that would be what I'm talking about. You've observed this person killing people. Giving orders to soldiers. To or you heard, you heard the orders. They gave orders to soldiers to kill people. Yeah. Yeah, that answers my question. Yep. I'm glad you want to work on that one. Of course, that would never happen in my country. <laughs> we are we are suffering this uh, this uh, thing for three years now i'm from iraq and my colleagues are from iraq and uh, my example is george w bush yes and his all his crimes that he's doing in iraq yes when I heard you folks were coming to this, I could have jumped for joy. I've been really looking for folks from my rock that I wanted to share this with. So, yeah, I'm very delighted to have you here. Any others uh, we want to work, want to clarify? Way back, I see a hand up. Someone who says, I don't want to talk about this. 
I don't want to talk about this. You gave a direct quote, so the giraffe is dancing. 